Hello Divination, in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to use Divi's code module and the code pen code generator to create a floating about card for your post or your page. Thanks once again to Andy Tran for sharing this tip with us. All the links needed to create this about card can be found in the show notes below. So without wasting a lot of time, let me show you how to create this. Okay, so this is the final design that we're aiming for at the end of this tutorial. So if you look right here at the bottom right, you can see that this is my card. So it has my picture right there. And also it has my website links, my uh, name and also a description. So let me show you how to add this to your website. So the first thing you need to do is to link to codepen.io. If you haven't created an account, you need to create an account. It's free. So go ahead, create an account. Now I've gone ahead and created my account. So you can see right here in the top right that um, I have my little image right there. Okay. So what you want to do next is to click the link and all the links that we're using in this uh, tutorial can be found in the show notes. So this is the next link we need to click. Now, as you can see, this belongs to Andy Tran. To know that, you just have to take a look at this URL right here at the top. So you can see the username is Andy Tran. So the idea here is to replace this information here with yours. So start off by, so start off with the name, the description, the title, and also the website links. Now I've gone ahead and made these changes already. So you can see here my title, I've added my name and um, I've left the, uh, the title as it is and also the description just to save time. But, here, but right here at the bottom, I've replaced Andy's links with my, uh, my links. So the first one here is my website. So I've got my website in there. I've got my Facebook, I've got my Twitter and also my codepen.io account. Okay, so once, once you have all this in place, what you need to do is to click once in this box and then click on Control S or Command S on a Mac. Now, what that does is it replaces Andy's information with your information. So once you've pressed Command S, you'll notice that the URL right here at the top will change and you'll have, it will have your username. Okay, so now that we've got that, all you need to do now is to copy that URL by pressing Control C or command C and then we need to go to the code generator. So right here on the code generator, what you need to do is to paste the URL and click on generate. Okay. So this is the code that's generated and this is the code that we need. So if you click on copy code, this copies it to the clipboard and this is the code that we need to go in into our website and add it into the code module. So I'm going to go into our WordPress website. I'm going to choose a page. So right now I'm just going to go on to our portfolio front page. I'm going to click on edit. So all you have to do is to click on insert modules and then you need to find the code module and paste the code that we copied right here and then click on save and exit. So that's all you need to do. And as I mentioned, this code can be anywhere. It doesn't really matter uh, which part of the site it is. So once you're done with that, click on update. Okay, now that our page is updated, all we have to do is to view the page. So I'm just going to click on view page and then we can see that it's right here at the bottom of the page. Now, this will only show on the front page because that's where we added the code. But if you want this to show throughout the whole website, I'll just show you briefly how you do that. Navigate to uh, DV theme options, go to integration, and then you need to go to the head part of the blog, click right in here and then paste the code. So now that you've pasted the code, click on save changes. And then now if we go to any page on our website, we should be able to see that. So right now I'm just going to go to the about and contact. And now you can see that the about card is now shown on this page. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe on our social media channels. By doing that, you'll be notified whenever we produce new videos similar to what you're seeing today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.